uh, but gives you uh, a piece now that is, and if you'll go back to the photo. Oops, one, two, four. Um, where did I go? There it is. Okay. Uh, now, you can see very slightly the edge of the piece, but we can take that whole corral and place it onto the layout. Um, you'll see this a lot in uh, modular type applications, but it works just as good on a, a big layout, permanent installation. Um, that way you can do all of your detailing, that fine detailing uh, in, a, in a convenient area, on a work table, on a work bench, uh, but add all of the, uh, the techniques, the scenic techniques that we we're already talking about, but adding the, the ground cover, adding the ballast, adding a little bit of grass and weeds against the edge of the fence line. Um, what is that but, substrate made out of? Uh, it's medium density fiberboard. And I'm glad you asked because I have a kit available. It'll be available in New York. <laughs> if you go online right now, trade name as is one of those uh, Steelwood deals. All right, today, today only. Uh, but uh, no, she uh, uh, did ask us to make this into a kit, and it will be offered at New York for the first time. Um, it's a very nice. It is a nice piece. It's about 24 inches long, and I believe it's nine inches wide. Um, it has a nice narrow footprint, so it'll work on a lot of layouts. Here we've incorporated it with a uh, corporate. Uh, I forget which one this is, but it became our slaughterhouse. Um, we changed out the corporate post to something that was a little bit more realistic in size. Um, that was just the first step in the detailing there. But again, you can see how we can drop that into now uh, the rest of the scenic area, and uh, it has a uh, nice detail. And uh, the finish out is something that's really on here and not on the big table. The big table has the work that it was done on it. Again, you can see the, all the different colors of grass, the different sizes of it. This is a depiction of um, uh, Northwest Texas, kind of uh, Texas, Oklahoma border. Uh, we just completed this installation for a gentleman in Amarillo, Texas. He's a retired uh, Santa Fe engineer spent his life in the railroads, and now he has his own at home. Um, this is a, a picture of the yards in, anybody recognize it? No, good one. Okay, good. This is Berlin, New Mexico. This is uh, south of Albuquerque. Uh, again, uh, when I talk about going out and seeing the real world, this is it. It doesn't get any more real than this. Um, there's a wonderful overpass, if you notice, you Back one, you can see what I did here. There's the overpass. That. You get to look down in the train yards. Real world um, application of that experience. You get to, uh, when you look at the yard, you know, a lot of people, you, you look at their layouts, they'll have a uh, nice dark uh, ballast down. Uh, that's the first step. It really is just the first step. Um, look at all the different colors of gray and tan and concrete steel, right? Older concrete, adobe. Right? All those elements are here and they all have their own color and reason for being there. Um, notice the, the crossing, the trucks that have crossed over each other numerous times, right? Going across the track. Um, these are relatively new, right? These inserts here. Um, if they had been there for any time, you would see a lot of black oil, right? Right there, those three spots as you hit the tracks, right? That oil is going to drop off of the, the uh, uh, truck or the cars that are going across. Um, again, real life, where do you see uh, uh, places that you want to model? That is the old Berlin station. It is now an um, uh, office for the yards. Uh, the oil tanks down in the back here. Um, Berlin now is a, a fueling stop on the BNSF. I mean, there, we're there for, oh, probably an hour. I probably saw 20 trains go through. Um, great place to just hang out if you want to see the train. It's a real train. Um, right next door is one of the few remaining uh, Harvey House hotels. It is now a museum in Berlin. Um, but I walked around. I've got pictures of 
every angle of that space. Went inside the museum, took lots of pictures on the inside. Maybe a balloon uh, army house in the future here. Uh, this is again that uh, uh, layout we just finished in the Amarillo. Uh, don't forget the sky. If you have an opportunity to put a mural background uh, behind your layout, or even if your layout is in the middle of the room, consider it. Um, if you put a backdrop like this, it transports you to another place. Um, that's uh, an eight-hour paint job. It was all hand done. You can see it kind of goes up the, the wall here. Is that on an angle? Excuse me? Is that straight or on an 